Oh, now yes yes you can see your slides sir. okay good afternoon and thanks to dr mishra all the speakers and the technology and mr sinaha and mishra organizing this meeting such a short interval and is th making things quite valuable as dr Krivaskar has said we all have felt that probably lipid is the very very bad thing as a culprit for a lot of diseases and we want to get as low as possible low ldl low cholesterol total cholesterol high hdl lowest to, to the vldl as well as the triglyceride but in the evolution of human being right from the unicellular animal onward we had three big source stored glucose was the first easiest very easy to diffuse from the cell wall into the big ocean and the cellular metabolism was quite practical so the first job which was done by the unicellular animal was to store glucose for future in the form of glycogen and as the glycogen would uh, we would require glucose glycogen would be depleted back to glucose and if there is more sugar more glucose more carbohydrate would be stored as a glycogen the next step was amino acid food because uh, amino acid protein is required for the synthesis of the cell and then hormone. So if you have excess protein, then it is being stored into the protein in the form of amino acid and body protein. The lipid came as a store of the fat because readily available for the energy. And uh, this is the source. Animal goes under hibernation, frog goes under hibernation. Many animals go, reptiles go hibernation they require the fat to be used as a food when they're not having food for many many months together these lower animals they do not have any food any access to the food so fat becomes a very important source for the energy and therefore in the evolution right from the single cell to such a complex human being which we are fat has played an important role for the energy metabolism as well as for the cell wall synthesis you cannot have a cell wall without a bilayer lipid molecule layer so you need a lipid over there also and as the animal became more complex more energy required the fat was used more if you look at the difference of non-primate mammal and you compare with the primate and the human at the top here the stick star mark is here is from the human and if you look the log of the brain weight in the log of the total calorie consumption as the calorie consumption increased the human brain size also increased than other private non-primate primate regression if you look at the curve so it is the not curse it is the advantage of the evolution of the human being from the multicellular animal to the non-primate and to the vertebrate and then to the primate that we have a larger brain substance and lipid is one of the very important component into the metabolism of the neuronal cell. They require very high energy of lipid for their metabolism. Now, looking at the geological age between different class of the uh, human being, as well as the human erectus, human homo sapien, homo erectus, and look at the geological age, and look at the brain size. This is 438. This is 1350 centimeter per square per cube. And this is more in the male than in the female. And therefore, it is the evolution, it is the hardship the human being here felt over the years. And it is because of this evolution we got high food intake and high. Now, look at the uh, relative brain size and the diet quality here. This is more refined diet for the human being because brain requires more now i'm going to talk about the content of the fat and the protein and which is important dietary contribution this is homo sapien human being protein carbohydrate and the fat this is 33 this is 14 this is 53 so carbohydrate though it is the almost 50 percent but if you look at this part this is 33 united states Chimpanzee only six, and the modern forgers, this is only 28 to 58. So, comparing with the other primate, gorilla, chimpanzee, 
human beings certainly have more fat content and it because brain utilizes neural tissue utilizes and we have many other metabolic components rather the many hormones are required for the fat to be synthesized so fat is a part and partial of our metabolism cellular metabolism neuronal metabolism brain metabolism hence it cannot be ignored that you could have a zero fat as you were born people want their coronaries to be as good as the day we are born but they tend to forget that now child is not is, is growing is growing much faster and is going much has a lot of energy to spend in the future so therefore the requirement of the food increases carbohydrate increases fat increases protein increases now we are going to this study here conducted by the indian heart journal this is the most recent so i'm i'll go reverse gear about the i was given the talk of epidemiology so hypercholesteremia awareness treatment and control among urban adults in this study this is the indian heart journal study very famous history 2017 you look the awareness maximum men were aware but looking at the treatment it was much lesser than the awareness than the control so we know that high lipid is not good in the food content but we do not take any treatment for that and we try to ignore it we go more important other drugs like taking oral hypoglycemic drug antihypertensive we hardly care for the lipid looking at the prevalence of hypercholesteremia which was looked from 2006 onward to 2014 and there are two studies this is icmr i india study I'll, i'll refer to it later on but if you look at a sample size and look at the prevalence taking cholesterol 200 mg in different indian setup and then we have got the value which men which mean the women and and look at the sample size and what we have tried to see that the most of the time it is the men who outnumber but women here and I'll, i'll show you later on also it is the migration to the rural india and unfortunately women have got a high prevalence and looking at the values of the indian heart watch urban study i'll come in a moment to it have shown 25.1 this is 25. this is 20 this is 27.8 32.8 this is a point of concern unfortunately women in our setup are getting more cholesterol and high lipid disorder this is ranging from 14 to 32 percent variation among the women than the men this is the heart indian heart watch multi site study I, i refer to it and it is a cholesterol value between 200 ldl 130 less than more than 130 now ldl is getting down and down and down people has come to even uh, 70 50 so this is 130 this is below 100 and and look at the values of the triglyceride which is now 150 again the men score than the women however when it comes to the ratio it is sgr uh, 40 versus 50 it is the women who are more this is the prevalence of dyslipidemia in larger hospital based data again with the same group and uh, cholesterol in the women tend to be higher side ldl also tend to be higher side this is the hospital tertiary referral care center not the epidemiology from the field and the triglyceride is more in the men than the women so this is this is triglyceride higher here also 150 this is the total hdl cholesterol more than 4.5 ratio and and this is what is shows that the prevalence of dyslipidemia in the larger hospital data you will always get more higher incidence of in the women uh, than the men universally this is the multi centric fit heart study and uh, the ldl values is if you compare here again the women have a higher value 63.1 uh, than the men triglyceride is more in the men here than the women and uh, the cholesterol again seems to be more in the women than the men it is probably the hormonal variation less work now the life style changing and will come in a ruler as well as the urban area trained looking at the cholesterol value which is more than 200 mg this is jaipur study heart watch study very famous study and jaipur has been the leading center of 
epidemiology, Dr. Gupta has been there and has been wonderful work for the heart as well as for the hypertension and the lipid. So this is the all the three, the one, two, three, four, five, and six different studies have shown overall period of the triglyceride is high. And then look at this value further. Uh, the triglyceride tends to be become gradually higher and higher in comparison to the cholesterol. So over the period, now we understand that we particular ethnic group have high triglyceride, low HDL, and the cholesterol comes in between. And this trend is continuing in all the study. Looking at the rural men and the women, and this is the AIMS, this is the Rajasthan rural, this is the Andhra, this is the Indian migration. And what you would appreciate the difference here, that the women in the Andhra rural have more prevalence towards the hypercholesteremia. Overall, Indian migration have more women, higher prevalence than the men. Whereas the aims, almost this is equal. Rajasthan, men uh, is still higher. Women on the lower side. Women tend to work more in some of the rural areas. Very, very hard working than the men. Looking at the total cholesterol level uh, in the larger states of India, Kerala stands out 197. And this was a point of concern to each and everybody. Right from the beginning, studies of the Salim Yusuf and then onward all, all studies which have come have shown this goa that very close culture coastal area himachal pradesh somehow is 185 but all coastal area karnataka west bengal gujarat maharashtra tend to fall under the same pattern uttar pradesh very at the bottom chhattisgarh 164 and manipur 165 meaning by it is the cultural values, the immigration, the coastal area, the food habit, all is responsible uh, for adding to the cholesterol. Kerala, one of the reasons is probably the use of tapioca in some of the villages, as well as the use of the coconut oil, grass use, as well as in the Goa, this may be responsible. There are many dietary habits which have been, they are all not very consistent report, but they contribute to the disability. Severe hypercholesteremia in population basis study. Again, if you look at the total population, 5,380, and look at the distribution between the population and hospitalized days, certainly you get a difference. And this is the high LDL cholesterol seems to be at the upper hand, uh, and difference between the men and the women. Women seems to be more. All the three studies have shown higher is based in the cohort. Now, looking at the relative risk in relation to coronary event, acute infarction, inter-heart study, it is the non-HDL cholesterol, South, this is the ethnic group, South Asia. Look here, the European, Chinese. We tend to have, in this particular South Asian group, more with the, in relation to, this is the values consistent, 1.23, 1.17, 1.24. But it is the Latin American 1.05, Chinese 1.0. This is 1.23 total cholesterol. Then APOS here, 1.53 higher. Here it is 1.7. So, so we are very close to Chinese and Southeast Asian group, almost similar pattern than the other Caucasian and European group. This is the ICMR, the older study, which took long, long and study and all people right from Dr. Shashan Joshi to the Ashok Das and V. Mohan and everybody Northeast, Southeast, West, Huni Krishna all have joined this study and this was published uh, in uh, quite this was the cross-sectional survey involving more than 20 years and this is the most sustainable result from 2008 to 2010 and all the four zones including the Chandigarh this was the 5,111 uh, patient from the urban area. Institutional ethical committees was taken into account. This is the result now. And this is the definition on which it was classified. Triglyceride, which initially was never cared for, but now it is 150 all over. LDL, H, HDL cholesterol, it is more than 40 for the male, less than 40 for the male, less than 50 for the female. And this is the value of the uh, high 
total cholesterol HDL ratio. So triglyceride and the cholesterol and the HDL, they were made important observation. And look at the difference in the all four regions. Hypertriglyceridemia was more in the urban area than the rural. Hypercholesteremia was again more in the urban area than the rural. Then this is at the isolated hypertriglyceridemia was again more urban than the rural. Isolated low HDL was seen more in the urban area than the rural. So this is a protective one which we have been talking most of the time, high HDL. And rest of the values almost same as we have seen in the previous presentation. This is important. Chandigarh has topped the Union Territory has topped in hypercholesteremia. This is 25 urban, 11.6. In some of their as common as the urban Maharashtra, this is 13.9, and this is 11.6, close to. This is Maharashtra urban 28.7 hypertriglyceridemia, Chandigarh 35.6. So the rural Chandigarh is as privileged in the food and dietary habit and having high triglyceridemia as the urban Maharashtra. So this is the four different reasons and uh, I've already talked about the isolated low STL, isolated hypercholesteremia, isolated hypertriglyceridemia and what we have been seen that the Chindigarh, the Union Territory has a very high prevalence than the most of the other part of the country. Jharkhand which is relatively poor now is getting a fast after the uh, it was made a separate state is growing very very fast and, and look at the values here the urban 30.8 Chindigarh is 25. So this is also equally important as contributing into the prevalence of this lipidemia. So overall, the four region when it was compared, the prevalence was for one lipid abnormality 79%. Chandigarh has sought 82.9%, followed by Jharkhand. And this is the important message. When you grow, when industry grow, when most of the labor migrate, and become privileged, they get more salary, more affluence way of life, they could be at par with any developed part of the country and nation. So Jharkhand, which was very, very 10 years, 15 years before, it was just developing and it was the area which were a lot of hardship and people working very hard have shown in this lipidemia single, when you look at the at least one lipid abnormality, this is as high as Chandigarh, Maharashtra, in Tamil Nadu is much much lower so when you look at the overlap of these lipid abnormalities the triglyceridemia is 29.5 percent this lipidemia overall is 79 percent only 21.1 percent so only one third people rather than quarter people uh, uh, incidence of normal lipid pattern and this is the 79 percent so more than that looking at the low sdl cholesterol 72.3 we need to increase it hypercholesteremia 13.9 we were initially we think everything is because of the hypercholesterol which is now true and the triglyceridemia is being contributing 29.5 percent this is the common area in which there is overlap of all the three 158 so 7.7 percent of adult population have the three abnormalities which is a high cholesterol high tg low hdl and is bad looking at the age and sex specific prevalence of hypercholesteremia this is the urban this the blue one urban it increases as the age increases people are very happy but when you are too young then you play a lot you do a lot of work and as your age increases slowly, you get a job, get married, less responsibility, less work, and it keeps on rising. And slowly, when you retire, 65 plus, it is on the lower side. On the contrary, the female, after the menopause, gradually it rises, 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 and over 65, this becomes. And the same is true with the rural pattern of the rural India. But because male they work very hard. 
so it, it re remains on the lower side than the female so female are quite vulnerable in the area where they are not working and the life is, uh, style has become altogether different this is the triglyceridemia look at the values and this is alarming alarming in the sense that is the broken line of blue is a urban female and this shoots up after the 60s when they get menopause lot of uh, freedom from the family care and less job it shoots up shoots up very high and then over the period which you are seeing the rural male and the, it starts coming down initial part it increases but then as, as the age advances same pattern is seen in the rural female this is the low hdl and which is important for the as a protective point and the, as i said the value also becomes bad among the women urban women it shoots up and it look at the broken line in the female rural female gradually stretches down and these are the urban class where the urban male the after particular age group it starts start coming down high ldl cholesterol very old pattern but then look at the values again follow the same principle younger people almost zero prevalence very very low prevalence and as age advances slowly goes up elderly people and it starts coming down women tend to have gradually increased so women are at the target point when it comes to the values of the high LDL cholesterol so female had significantly higher rates of lipid abnormalities than male as did those in urban areas compared to rural areas except hypertriglyceridemia which was higher in the male an increased trend was age was observed for hypercholesteremia among urban male urban female and rural female so female everywhere urban female rural female are as good when it is the, come to the hypercholesteremia a male are earlier hypertremia was again more seen in the urban female and the high lpl cholesterol among the urban female so what are the factors independently associated with lipid abnormalities for the cholesterol it is the age is the urban people high income group overweight and generalized obesity abdominal obesity fat consumption diabetes and pre-diabetes hypertension we, we know it is part of the component metabolic syndrome so they go together hypertriglyceridemia associated with all factors above and the age low hdl cholesterol with the female gender obesity and sedentary lifestyle and high ldl cholesterol with all factors except for the literacy current taboo is smoking alcohol were negatively associated so coming to the discussion part over the three four seventy nine percent of the general adult population have at least one lipid abnormality with no urban or rural difference and that's that prevalence in different uh, lipid it is the low ldl which is at the top 72.3 percent followed by triglyceridemia then followed by hypercholesterolemia and then ultimately high ldl so in epidemiology looking at the public health issues we have to more concentrate on the triglyceride and low hdl cholesterol value ldl cholesterol certainly for the those who have already had a coronary catastrophe as well as they have dyslipidemia and diabetes so the significant finding in this study was there is a regional disparity hypercholesteremia was more in tamil nadu triglyceridemia was more in chandigarh jharkhand is becoming the next victim 76.8 percent low hdl highest rate of high ldl cholesterol in tamil nadu in isolated hdl cholesterol was extremely high in jharkhand and more so in the rural jharkhand and that's very bad we know the reason and we now looking at the migration of the labor looking at the problem and it's going to become very very different in future over 80 percent of subjects in the age range of 35 to 64 years had abnormalities in one of the lipid abnormality factors strongly associated with this include female gender 
so we have to become now now very cautious for the women obesity sedentary lifestyle diabetes disc glycemia and hypertension and the prevalence is gradually from tamil nadu in the population million from 76.9 percent jharkhand 80 chandigarh 81.9 percent very bad looking at the picture of the jharkhand and chandigarh it's not a good news so to, to conclude prevalence of dyslipidemia is very high in india calls for urgent lifestyle intervention strategies to prevent and manage this important cardiovascular risk factor thank you very much